Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to my channel. Um, got the new Valentine 1. This is the Gen 2. And can somebody tell me why they didn't call it V2? <laughs> so now the name's getting longer from V1 to V1 Gen 2. So this is my original one. This is the Valentine one. And this one has the... <clears throat> I think it's called ESP on it or something. Yeah, you can see it right there in the bottom. So you can focus in, focus. Anyway, um, so this was a pretty good detector. It's never done me wrong, but uh, this was supposed to have better range, so I got this. And uh, you order these directly from Valentine One. Be strong. Be strong. Directly from the manufacturer. And it should come with, yeah. So I got a visor mount. It'll give me a visor mount, a suction cup mount. And gosh, these suction cup mounts are terrible. I'm gonna use the blend mount. But this is the unit. So, let's put them side by side here. Huh, interesting, so this, just a little bit bigger, not much. It's a different, could be a different mount though, I think. I'll have to check and see if it is a different mount. Maybe not. But yeah, so I don't have the, the two levels there. I got them at the top. As long as I can reach my finger in there because I got it close to the mirror. I just bought the new blend mount to bring it up closer to the mirror. So. Let me see if this is the same as this. Uh, no. So this is this one is flat on the top. And this one is bowed. So if you look at this, this is flat. Oh, that's weird. Well, maybe it would still fit. Be a tight fit. But, um, yeah, they use the same plug, same power connector. Let's go plug it in my car and see if it All works. All right, so I just got it hooked up to the visor mount. I might put it over in the passenger side when I'm testing this thing. Alright, this should be interesting. So let me set them both to the same mode so that they'll pick up. Well, this one's actually in European, a custom European mode. Custom sweep, but... Logic, advanced logic. So anyway, they're pretty close. Uh, I'm gonna go hit take my car through one of the your speed sign is and let's see what we get for a difference all right all right throw a comment out there if you think the new one is going to be a huge difference than the old one it's actually it's up slightly a bit higher Um, yeah, I don't know 
if I'm going to see a huge difference. Now, I'm going to test it with a K-band sign. It's a little bit of a drive to get there. And gosh, I didn't know I was going to be behind landscapers going 30 miles an hour. It could take me a long time before I get there. But um, I'm really happy with this one. So everybody is like hooked onto this big range thing. The reason why you want the most range with a radar detector is because like, let's say a car half a mile up ahead of you goes through a radar trap, they're running instant on. Um, you'll be alerted to that when the cop hits the radar for that. But a lot of times the cops, they judge it first. If a guy's not going all that fast, they're not gonna pull the trigger anyway. So that kind of rules that out. The other thing is, um, I don't know, like even the, my regular V1, it's uh, it's got a lot of range and I'll, uh, I'll start slowing down for the radar before the people with the cheap radar detectors and they pass by me and then they get an alert and, <laughs> and then they slow down. So then they, they're in front of me now. So now I got all these slow people <laughs> in front of me, I gotta pass them again. Um, it's kind of funny. Yeah, I, I get alert before. Now, I used to have a Whistler detector. It was kind of cool. But for KA band, um, it, it was not very good. I would like, in other words, like look in front, right? If a cop was right there facing the other way, I wouldn't even get hits until I was like almost on him. Uh, he wasn't facing me, but with this one, I get the reflections, right? So you want to if they're off axis or whatever, you really want, you know, a pretty sensitive detector. Also, um, a lot of these cars where they got this blind spot monitoring and everything, you don't want a car that's gonna keep triggering that. Now, uh, my last car was the Mazda 6, and I had to turn laser off. My car had some sort of laser on it. I was throwing laser beams out or something. I think it's part of the anti-lock braking system or whatever. So my old one, my old one got a false hit. Always gets it right here at that store, but the new one didn't. So that's pretty interesting. So anyway, uh, yeah, let's see. Let's around this turn. Speed camera in 0.1 mile. So let's see if I can hold this thing so you can see both. Should get an alert. Pretty soon, right around this bend. <laughs> is it? There it is. Oh, the new one's going. The, the old one's going off. And this one just got a hit. Wow. Well, that's weird. The old one did better. And they both shut off at the same time. Let's do a U turn. It's coming from the other way. That's just, uh, that's kind of disappointing here. Wow, so the old guy did better than the new guy. Let's see what happens when I turn around. Give it another chance. So the sign's facing the other way. It's a real weak radar sign too. right there. There's a truck right in front of it. Yeah, the new one's not alerting. Wow. Look at that. Why am I not even getting a hit on that one? So let's um, 
let's go somewhere where I got a weak signal and then I'll uh, I'll unplug maybe it's because I got two of them going I don't know or it's because I got it up too high I don't know if it would really matter I thought higher is better hmm. all right I'll try it again all right let's try cross axis This is um, it's kind of bizarre. What's uh, going on is since my existing detector is showing some falses and the new one is not and the existing one has better range I probably got some sort of filter enabled on the new one which I don't have enabled on the old one and I'm backing up here so <laughs> um, so I think that's what it is I'll have to check the settings here I gotta get back to work though um, I'm just at lunch and I need to eat so I'm gonna play around with this a little bit later on and uh, we'll see what we come up with okay guys so I'm curious on why I got a longer range hit on this one it also picked up some some other alerts fake false alerts um, so I want to see how this thing is set up and I have the app here on my phone I'm gonna rig everything up in here in the house. Try to figure out. I think what I did is I turned off some of the filtering. I think that's what um, what I had. I don't remember. And I can't just like look at the config on, with the app on the phone without attaching to it. Now the new ones have Bluetooth on them. The old ones you have to use this little module. So I'm gonna connect it all up run my app, find out what I got for settings on here versus the other one. So I'll see what I got different. All right, All right I got it set up here by Shack, the ham shack here. <clears throat> this is the Bluetooth module that you need for the older units that say ESP on it. And I'm gonna bring up the app on my phone here. I can't do two things at once, so I'm gonna have to, I don't have the little tripod here, so um, bear with me while I get it set up. All right, so this is the app called Yavi, and uh, so this is my modes. So, oh no, I don't want to push it. I wanted to read them. I'll be honest with you. I haven't used this thing in years. Here's the custom sweeps. Is the frequencies let's see I 
I think I'm running this one maybe. My new settings or the other one. Let's see. Yeah, this is the one I'm running. My new settings. Euro mode. I got the traffic filtering on. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't know, unless I get something. Uh, so I'm gonna, now I want to check the, the new detector. But um, this thing worked pretty good. It did pick up some false alerts on K-Band. All right, so let's check out the new one now. All right, guys, so um, here's my loner here. Pretty nice car. It's funny, I started it and I couldn't hear it inside the house. <laughs> so it's definitely not a Hemi, but uh, it's not bad. Um, so I'm gonna do the radar detector test. I had to use two cords. I was hoping I could plug them both into one plug because they have a you know, a unit and an accessory, but the accessory wouldn't provide power. So, anyway, I got two outlets, so I'm gonna plug one in up there and one back here. I get a kick out of this, right? So I'm driving a black Jeep, right? I get these cords hanging down because the thing's hanging from the visor. And look at the hat I'm wearing. <laughs> I just got a laser hit, but I'm not sure which one generated it they're so close to me maybe i should have put them on the both on the dashboard or something um, i've got this uh this stuff it's like bubble gum you know it's an adhesive but it doesn't leave a residue i probably should have got that and stuck them both on the dashboard but i'm gonna use it to film but yeah right as i crested the hill something went off it was probably somebody's um speed control or something like that on their car all right so yeah i only got a quarter of a tank of gas and i know my wallet so i don't want to go too far and i don't want to go back so let's see see if we find something here hopefully so this thing says 20 average mpg 31 is my current huh, that's interesting I like how it shows the speed up there while I'm in the other modes. I get here, it's at the speed. Let's see what's over here. Oh, look at that. <laughs> An analog speed. That's kind of cool, actually. Alright, I'm getting KA hits from my my radar detector, but nothing on the other one. I don't know where it came from, and then it went away. So I'm not sure if it was a false or what, but I heard it on mine first, and it was at a lower volume. You know, maybe I didn't have the volume on. Yeah, so this is going to be a fun test here. Hopefully I'll find a real hit. And that's a police car right there that just went by. So I got to tell you, I mean, uh, I want quiet radar detectors. I don't want one that goes off at all sorts of crap and then you know oh, if we frequently drive this road it'll auto mute them out well that's great if it's a commuter car but if you, it's a road trip car then well this guy's going really slow um if it's a road trip car you know you don't you can't rely on those gimmicks because you never rode that road before or if you did it was a year ago you know so i think um I think those are gimmicks, and I just want a detector that's got all the logic and capabilities of knowing a real radar from a fake one right off the bat. Um, and 
when you test radar detectors, you shouldn't be testing them for the maximum. I guess you could, you know, all bogus. Mode. Yeah, most people want to run filtering, so that's how I like to see it. Give me one with good range and then put the filtering on. So that's the way it is. Alright, I'm getting two hits off the old one. Must have been a false or something because the new one didn't make any sound at all and there's no radar. So I got a false hit. And I'm running a um, custom sweep on this thing too. It's in Euro mode running a custom sweep, but I got a. 2k8 hits so just two beeps that was it this car is good oh there he is wow so he wasn't running radar at all he's doing I guess he's running instant on or something all right both of them just lit up so he's aiming for cars and going the other way oh wow so the new the, the new one still beep and the first one stopped. Look at that. We're pretty far away from it. We're around a turn. I'm gonna flash my lights. <laughs> well now I feel better. Okay, so he's uh he's doing instant on and uh Yeah, and the new one works a lot better than the old one. That's pretty freaking cool. All right, let me see if I can go around one more time by him. Rear antenna was pretty cool. Now, going towards him, I got a hit, a couple hits, right, with the original one, not with the other one. Um, so maybe with this filtering, somebody was talking about that. With this filtering, uh, you might miss some of those little quick instant ons. So yeah, maybe uh, maybe I should put it in all bogies mode just to see. Um, but I don't know. That's not how I'm gonna run it though. Right? I don't know if I want to run it. I want to run it in Atlant advanced logic mode because that's how I would be using it typically. So uh, yeah, we gotta be fair, right? I could put it in all bogies mode and it'll do real good, but uh, that's not how I'm going to drive on a regular day. So, let's so, see what happens. So, both detectors are going off. My original one alerted first. It's still alerting. See that? Look at that. Gen 1 is working better than the Gen 2. somebody shit I gotta turn around <laughs> lights and siren and everything wow all right he likes his lights oh, I don't understand that one at all um, is it because of the advanced logic mode it um, I mean what was up with that my um, my original one was way more perky got first alert from it now going by him the rear antenna it seemed like the other one was uh, doing really good better than my original one but uh, hmm I care more about the front than I do the back right so let's see if I can catch up to this guy here oh well, that would have been it shoot come on go You know, people just. I mean, this guy 
I was one of those guys that merged on a 70 mile an hour speed limit highway at uh, 40. And I don't know what his deal is. But anyway, um, yeah. It's, it's amazing the cop will put the siren on. Like, um, like the guy's trying to get away from him or something. I think he got some guy in a little small car or something. But uh, let's see if he shut off his radar, if I still got something here. So, I mean, this new detector was $600, so there's no joke. And uh, it's supposed to work better, right? Okay, so I should be up on him pretty soon here. Yeah, he's right up here. So he shut off his radar. Mm. Okay. Right before Buffalo Road. Big bust. Yep. <clears throat> anyway. I bet he wishes he had one of these. But the cop was being sneaky with the instant on. You need to have to have a lot of range. And I don't know. With this new Gen 2 not being so uh, alertive because uh, to cancel out falses, I, I don't know. You know, I say I like quiet detectors, but um, both coming down here with the f few times that he hit it, um, yeah, I knew about it with my detector, but uh, my new, my old one, but not with the new one. And then, you know, going away from him, it was, uh, the new one just definitely hung in there real good off the back end on it. Yeah, it was very strange. I don't know. I'd like to get another hit just to see. But I'm going to head back. Run low on gas. I'm going to put this thing in the little L mode. Which is, I think, logic mode, not advanced logic. So I don't think there'll be as much delay with that. So, I don't know. Let's see. I'm getting a hit now already on something. I wonder if it's a fake good if it was a real radar hit. It wasn't very loud. This one was uh, quiet, nothing. So maybe it was a false hit. So that's the thing. If I put it in the regular logic mode, am I going to get more falses than my original one? I don't know. The arrow was to the front, so... I 
was a cop. He didn't have radar on. <laughs> By the way, I got to tell you, these Torg glasses, which is the ones I'm wearing right now, um, they're HD. They enhance colors and stuff. But it's the weirdest thing. I look at my phone. I can't see anything. It's um, really weird how I can't see my phone very good at all with them, with them on. So only had. I think I'm gonna head home. Oh, wait. There's the falses again from this place. Nothing on this one. I'm gonna do a logic book, but I heard it on mine. Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't like falses, but I need to be alerted. You know, I, I don't know. I was just saying earlier that I don't want falses because then I don't believe the radar detector. But at the same token, on this situation that we just saw today, um, yeah, mine alerted and the new one did not. Then he stopped sending. Then neither one was alerting and then they sent again and then both were, sent, were receiving it then. But... I don't know. It's kind of a weird thing. I'm going to have to watch the video myself. Because um, that was just weird. And I don't know. I mean, I expected this thing to work. Like, uh, you know, part the seas, right? <laughs> I bet. <laughs> it's supposed to be a big upgrade. And I don't know. I don't know if it's... I don't see it. I could see maybe if you didn't have a detector, would you get a used Gen 1 or a new Gen 2? I don't know. Even then, I think I used... I think right now, you're probably... People are buying these Gen 2s and they're selling their Gen 1. I think the key is to... If you don't have a radar detector at all, buy the Gen 1 used. Use it for a year or two when they perfect this Gen 2. Then buy the Gen 2 and then sell the Gen 1. And I probably wouldn't even take these things have been around ones have been around for years and I you always get like 175 bucks for it or something. So yeah, I don't know. I gotta talk to Z Outlaw SS about it because he's doing the same thing as me and uh he had the same situation. Having a hard time finding uh you know. I actually texted a friend of mine who's a cop, asked him if I can get all the radar. He didn't he didn't reply. I might call him. He's probably pissed off. Like, what are you talking about? I'm gonna let you borrow a damn radar from the police department to test your radar detector. <laughs> Why not? I don't know. I and I know some of the cops in my town. Maybe I'll ask them. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna say, let me borrow your radar gun. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. What the hell? I got nothing to lose. They like my car, by the way. So yeah, it might be that. Uh,